Hello, hello. All right, before this video gets started, I just want to clarify. Frontier, I am in no way, shape, or form slandering Jurassic World Evolution 2. I love the game. But throughout playing it, uh, uh, this, this new update in particular, I have found quite a few bugs, which, uh, which I didn't really find in any previous updates. So that's why I'm making this video. But Frontier, please, I beg of you, I am so sorry. I love you. I love Planet Zoo. I love Jurassic World. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm sure most of you have seen the, uh, the previous video where I tried out the update to begin with. And in that video, well, the first ever video trying out the update, I found a uh, pretty major bug, um, which is this, the res not response facility, what the hell. The Lagoon Viewing Dome will, if, if your game closes and you go back into it, or if you exit the game and go back into it, there's a chance that your Lagoon Viewing Dome will just levitate like this. And it kind of looks cool, but it also looks really funny. Now, in that video, I thought it was really funny um, because, you know, I was just trying stuff out. But now that I've actually been like putting time and effort into parks, it's really annoying because I have to manually place back the viewing domes every time it happens because uh, they don't fix themselves. And not only are those pretty damn bugged, but uh, so are these guys over here, the other new aquatic thing, the uh, the rocks that the uh, semi-aquatic animals go on. There's some sort of like visual bug or something where the pole goes through them and it, <laughs> it looks really, it looks really stupid. I, I don't even know what's going on. So, I mean, obviously those are just slightly irritating, like this one actually, this one's really bad, look at that. A viewer actually commented this in the previous video, but they found out that there is a visual bug with the Dimorphodon now where the tail droops down and it looks really, really fucking weird. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a dick. These are just slightly irritating though. These are just uh, more like minor visual bugs. Probably the one that has pissed me off the most is the Dunkleosteus. So as you can see, I've put a lot of effort into this park. Phil and Hydro are fighting. Phil, Hydro, knock it off. Knock it off! I've put a lot of effort into this park. And the whole premise of this park is that I have been naming every single dinosaur, at least trying to. There's a bunch that haven't been named. So if you guys have name suggestions, please put them in the comments and uh, maybe I'll name a couple dinosaurs after you guys. And of course, if that's the case, uh, if you guys want me to make like a separate video just on this park or something and like making it cooler or some shit, I don't know, then you know, let me know in the comments. Okay, that's going off topic. Point being, I've put a lot of effort into this park, and I've named just about every dinosaur, as I said. Now, the reason I am naming these dinosaurs is because at the very end, I want to release them all and, like, have them just cause terror, you know? I've made sure that every dinosaur has their own unique name, like this is Knuckles, the red Spinosaurus, and, uh, and they all have have their own personalities, like Knuckles is thirsty, intolerant, and aggressive. Whereas Anubis here, this blue and purple Spinosaurus, is thirsty and intolerant. Less aggressive than Knuckles, you know? They got slightly different personalities. I've been trying to distinguish the dinosaurs by naming them and giving them different personalities. Like the uh, Atrociraptors here, they're very intelligent, um, so they like to break out every once in a while and it's very annoying. Point being, I've, I've become somewhat attached to these dinosaurs. Now, I know these aren't dinosaurs, but uh, these guys here, the Dunkleosteus, I have almost lost every single one of them. And uh, and this one in particular, his name is Hobie. He's a red and blue Dunkleosteus. He's named after a fucking Hobie, mate, from the Spider-Verse. I, I have become extremely attached to him because I love Hobie in the Spider-Verse. And he is a really damn cool looking Dunkleosteus. Well, this Dunkleosteus has given me a heart attack so many times because there are like 
AI bugs or some shit. And it's not just him, it's been almost every single Dunkleosteus in this park. The first AI bugs I've picked up on are if I put any other marine animals in with a Dunkleosteus, they don't kill them, which is weird because I've seen videos of like the Dunkleosteus on YouTube in Jurassic World Evolution, killing all sorts of different marine animals in the game, whereas I've never personally seen it happen in game. So I don't know if it's just me or something. And then uh, probably the worst uh, bug of them all is that these guys will literally kill themselves. I'm gonna speed it up and see if I can get it to happen. All right, there we go. I got it to happen. Okay, so this guy, this guy's name is Gazami. All right, Gazami is long lived. A very wise old fella. Look at Gazami. What a cute little Dunkleosteus. Well, newsflash, Gazami is about to die. Gazami is about to starve to death. By the way, the, the name Gazami, I actually really like it. My girlfriend chose it. It's named after Gazami Krebs. She finds them in Animal Crossing and they're blue and gray. That's why she named him that. <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me just get, get straight to the point. So, Gazami is lining up to do his animation on this shark feeder here. You know, where he jumps up and eats the shark. Well, what I have found is that if there is, if the shark is dead, like if the, the shark is gone, goodbye shark, Gazami will just sit here and starve himself. Now this is in three times speed. See Gazami's health slowly going down. Actually, you probably can't see that because of my camera. All right, look at Gazami's health slowly going down. It's actually not that slow. It's like one a second because it's in three times speed. Well, basically what I found, I don't know if it's when the shark is eaten or just in general. When the Dunkleosteus go near a shark feeder like this, they will literally just starve themselves. They will, their, their AI will break and they will just sit here and starve themselves. Uh, oh, there's another one. Uh, Shocker. This one's named after Shocker from uh, Spider-Man because he's green and yellow. Well, his AI is broken too because he's near the shark feeder and he is going to die now also. I've lost a couple to it already. I almost lost Hobie to it and I was I was very sad because I love Hobie. Look at him go. Look at, oh my God, look at Hobie go. And uh, the only way I found to fix this is either by tranquilizing them and moving them away from it and, uh, you know, obviously healing them in the process. Oh no, Phil and Dry Bones are fighting. Come on, Phil. Stop picking fights with people, dude. So the only way I found to fix it is by physically moving them to a different location or leaving the game and rejoining and then they'll like they'll swim away from it and then swim immediately back and get stuck again. I don't know why it's happening, but it is extremely irritating because look, Gazami is about to die right now. Gazami is at 33% health, and Shocker is at 100% health, but Shocker hasn't moved at all. Now, I am not going to let Gazami die, because Gazami is awesome. Top two Dunkleosteus in my park. Number two, Gazami. Number one, Hobie. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna heal him and all of that, do what I said. But, uh, Frontier, listen. That's not good. That's not good. Because if, if I wasn't in a sandbox game and this was like a Dunkleosteus I spent a lot of in-game money on, that would be, that would be rather tragic. Not only that, I don't remember the skin patterns for these dinosaurs because I randomized them. So if they die, I'm not going to get another one. So it's going to be like losing an actual pet. Okay, all right, Frontier, you better fix this before Gazami dies or Hobie. But otherwise, that is all I've ran into personally. Um, if, if anything else happens, I guess I'll keep everyone updated. I've had a lot of fun with this new update. I feel like I've been able to flesh out my parks a whole lot. I mean, this park looks amazing in my opinion. This is the first time I've made like a really cool park. And I mean, yeah, if you guys want me to make a video where uh, I have you guys name the dinosaurs and then I also release chaos, then let me know in the comments. 
And uh, there's so many dinosaurs that need to be named. I will literally take anything. These Carcharodontosaurus, these Australovenators, most of the Nothosauruses, all of these Leopleurodons, a few of these Chronosauruses, literally this entire enclosure here, all of those need to be named. Everything else, though, those have been named so far. I was just letting you guys know the species that need to be named because, uh, you know, it, it might help you with the names if you knew the species. So, yeah. Without further ado, I guess that just about does it. Frontier, I'm sorry, I feel like I'm shooting on the game right now, but uh, I just want to point these out because uh, I don't want to lose Hobie. Look, Hobie's starving himself right now, and Hobie has so much fish. Yeah, look, Hobie just ate fish. Now Hobie's fine. But unfortunately, Gazami is probably going to die now. So yeah, that just about does it. I shall see you guys later.